three little pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. The three little pigs grew so big that one day the mother said to them, you are too big to live here now. You must go and build houses for yourself. But take care that the wolf does not catch you. The three little pigs set off. We will take that the wolf does not catch us, they said. Soon they met a man who was carrying some straw. Please will you give me some straw, asked the first little pig. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, said the man. And he gave the first little pig some straw. The first little pig built himself a house of straw. He was very pleased with his house. He said, now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. I shall build a stronger house than yours, said the second little pig. I shall build a stronger house than yours too, said the third little pig. The second little pig and the third little pig went on along the road. Soon they met a man who was carrying some sticks. Please will you give me some sticks? asked the second little pig. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, said the man, and he gave the second little pig some sticks. The second little pig built himself a house of sticks. It was stronger than the house of straw. The second little pig was very pleased with his house. He said, now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. I shall build a stronger house than yours, said the third little pig. The third little pig walked on by himself. Soon he met a man who was carrying some bricks. Please will you give me some bricks, asked the third little pig. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, said the man, and he gave the third little pig some bricks. Then the third little pig built himself a house of bricks. It took him a long time to build, for it was a very strong house. The third little pig was very pleased with his house. He said, now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. The next day the wolf came to the house of straw which the first little pig had built. He knocked on the door and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the little pig said, no, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you in. Then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house in, said the wolf. The wolf huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. The house of straw fell down and the wolf ate up the first little pig. The next day the wolf walked further along the road. He came to the house of sticks which the second little pig had built. The wolf knocked on the door and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the little pig said, no, no, by the hair of my chinny chin, I will not let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. He huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. The house of sticks fell down and the wolf ate up the second little pig. The next day the wolf walked further along the road. He came to the house of bricks which the third little pig had built. The wolf knocked on the door and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the little pig said, no, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I would not let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I will blow your house in, said the wolf. The wolf huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. But the house of bricks did not fall down. The wolf was very angry, but he pretended not to be. He thought, this is a clever little pig. If I want to catch him, I must pretend to be his friend. The wolf said, little pig, if you will be ready at six o'clock in the morning, I will take you to Farmer Smith's field to find some nice turnips. Very well, said the little pig, but the clever little pig knew that the wolf just wanted to eat him. So the next morning he set off for Farmer Smith's field at five o'clock. He filled his basket with turnips, then he hurried home. At six o'clock the wolf knocked on the door. Little pig, are you ready? he asked. Oh, 
said the little pig. I have already been to Farmer Smith's field. I filled my basket with turnips. The wolf was very angry, but he pretended not to be. He said, if you will be ready at five o'clock in the morning, I will take you to Farmer Brown's apple tree to pick some red apples. Very well, said the little pig. Next morning, the little pig set off at four o'clock. He was up in the tree picking apples when the wolf came along. The little pig was very frightened, but he pretended not to be. These are fine apples, Mr. Wolf, said the little pig. I'll throw one to you. He threw down an apple and he rolled away down the road. The wolf ran after it. The little pig jumped down from the tree and ran all the way home. The wolf was now very angry, but he still pretended not to be. He knocked on the little pig's window. Little pig, he said, will you be ready at four o'clock this afternoon? I will take you to the fair. We will have fun on the swings and roundabouts. Very well, said the little pig. At two o'clock, the little pig set off for the fair. He had great fun riding on the swings and roundabouts. Then he bought himself a butter churn. It looked like a big barrel. As the little pig was going home, he saw the wolf coming up the hill. He jumped into his butter churn to hide. The butter churn began to roll down the hill faster and faster. It rolled. It rolled so fast that it knocked the wolf down. The wolf was very frightened. He ran away as quickly as he could. The little pig jumped out of his butter churn and rolled it home. When the wolf found out how the little pig had tricked him, he was very, very angry. He knocked on the little pig's door. Little pig, he said, I am going to climb down your chimney and get you. The little pig was very frightened, but he said nothing. He put a big pot of water on the fire to boil. The wolf climbed onto the roof. Then he began to come down the chimney. There was no lid on the pot. The wolf fell in with a big loud splash. And that was the end of the wolf. The third little pig was too clever for him. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And if you have any book recommendations, please comment down below.